families setting the morning alarms for the first time in a couple of weeks tonight. As you prepare, remember there could be new health protocols in your child's classroom tomorrow. WBC's Christina Rex live in Watertown tonight to explain what we all really need to know, Christina. Yeah, Chris, bringing back masks, not mandates this time, but recommendations in a handful of school districts, including here in Watertown, where they're hoping to keep school absences to a minimum. I think it's a good move for one month and then they can go back. Flashbacks from 2020 as students in several schools will head back to class in the new year wearing masks. I think it's a good idea. I know more than a handful of people right now that have COVID. They're sick. My boys have had a cough for a week, so I'm planning to send them back to school with masks on. Boston, Watertown, Newton, and Arlington are among the towns recommending but not requiring masks for the next few weeks to prevent the absences that plagued schools before vacation. Every week was staff, kids, like everybody was out. So it's like just you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, like last month, 106 people were absent. So in a day? Yeah. But epidemiologist Shira Daron says those illness peaks have already passed. Well in the rear view mirror, we haven't seen a positive RSV test at Tufts Medical Center in weeks. And flu is past its peak too, she says. Plus... This year and last year are like two different planets when it comes to COVID-19. State wastewater data confirms this time last year was that massive Omicron peak. And while numbers now might tick up. Essentially now we have a situation where virtually everyone has had COVID whether they know it or not. Meaning there's a lot more natural immunity. That's why, while masks do work to prevent illness, she says, Dr. Darone believes schools should rely on natural immunity rather than masks to keep kids healthy. Did the things that we have done to protect ourselves against COVID up till now create the situation that we're in with RSV and flu? I say yes. Dr. Darone also says having kids wear masks at school likely won't have too much of an effect since so much of life otherwise is back to business as usual. Also, many of these mask recommendation periods last from a week to a few weeks, depending on the district, according to emails sent out to families. Live in Watertown, Christina Rex, WBZ News.